All right, next knife attack is your attacker's coming in. They're kind of almost doing like a three musketeer kind of jab, and he's coming in at my chest, okay? So this could be kind of neck, chest, upper belly, but basically in the region of kind of this area, okay? So he comes in, I'm gonna turn with it. I'm gonna basically play a bullfighter. We're not worried about any kind of deflection except body deflection here. This hand's gonna come up, this one's gonna come over. Now my grip on this, I'm gonna be coming in like this and pinching my fingers down. I don't wanna come in like this because if he still has a grip, pulls, I get cut. From here, if he pulls, Maybe a little bit of a nick if it was a double edge blade, but this being a single edge, most people do carry single edge, it's gonna be here, slides out, no harm, no foul, we push off, clear, and basically regroup. So I'm going here, turning my hips out. If I have time, I can take a step, but a lot of times this is gonna be really quick, so all I can do is just turn my hips over here, okay? As I come over here, this one comes up, scissor, not a fist. This comes in, once again, using the heel of the hand first, pinching, and I'm gonna create a scissor motion as I turn my hips back over, and it pops the knife out. Notice I'm not grabbing the blade. I've got clear space between my hands. Here, trap, and I'm out. Make sure when you rotate, you rotate all the way to the forearm, all the way over. Don't stop here, he's still got a grip on it. We need to go all the way to the forearm. You should be able to clear the weapon before you even step back, okay? Turn, trap at the same time. Here, all the way to the forearm. I can use my second hand to clear. Just be careful you use second hand. You're leaving your face exposed for a punch. One more time, here, trap, and out. What happens if they're left-handed? Nothing changes. I'm going exactly the same way. I'm popping a little bit harder because I've got to fight some fingers but I'm using it up against my core. I pop, make sure I rotate it all the way along the length of this forearm. I don't want to stop right here, all the way over. And you can see the reaction I'm getting because I'm bending his wrists and his fingers backwards. And then I clear from 